So a common question that I get in the comments of my videos is how to keep all of the old Blender preferences, settings, and add-ons when you update Blender. And Blender 3.6 was just officially released, so in this video I'll show you how you can keep all of your preferences and your settings and your add-ons when you update to a new Blender version. So the first thing you need to do is download and install the new Blender version. And I won't be showing you how to do that in this video, but there are many tutorials on how to do that online which you can check out if you don't know how to install Blender. And of course, install Blender will be different depending on your operating system. So once you install the new Blender version, just open it up for the very first time. And when you first open it up, you'll see the splash screen right here. And right down there, you'll see it says load 3.5 settings, or it'll show the number of the previous version. So before clicking away from the splash screen or before doing anything, just click on that button to load the old Blender settings. And it might just take a moment to load up as it copies over the settings, but then you'll have all of the add-ons and the preferences and all of the old settings that you had in your previous Blender version. Now if you're not able to do it that way, there is a way to manually copy over your old Blender preferences. So to do this, you'll need to go to the home folder in your computer and you'll need to find the Blender program data. Now I use the Linux Mint Cinnamon operating system and so in my operating system, I go to my home folder and then I go to the .config file and then I go to the Blender file. And on Linux Mint, any file which starts with a period is a hidden file. So to actually see the config file, I need to press Control H and Control H will show any hidden files. Or I can also just right click in my file browser here in Linux Mint and I can click on show hidden files. And then I can go into my .config file. So that's where it's located on Linux Mint. However, on Windows or Mac, it might be in a slightly different location on your computer. And for any Windows or Mac users out there, definitely comment below in the comments and let us know where this file is on your computer. So in this folder, it's going to have different Different Blender versions. Here is Blender 3.5, which was the one I was just using, and then here's Blender 3.6. This is the new one that I just installed. Now, if you go inside the folder of the previous Blender version, you're going to get these folders here a config file, data files, and script files. And this data contains the old preferences. So, what you can do is just click and drag to copy these folders. You can right click and then click on copy. Then you can go out of that folder and you can go into the folder of the new Blender version. And then you can click and drag to copy these. Just delete them by hitting delete. I will move these to trash and then you can right click and you can click on paste and it will paste in all the preferences and the add-ons and all the settings from your old Blender version. So now if I open up the new Blender version it has all my preferences. You can see it's added in those different add-ons that I've turned on. It's also made the font size bigger and all the buttons bigger and I also have all of my different workspaces and also it's even copied over all of my Mac caps and other preferences. So I hope you found this helpful and thanks for watching.